Hi, I'm AJ Swickelmeyer, the gardener at Justin Royal Homestead. This is a gentleman's farm, and um, he established it in 1848 to 53. He designed the Victorian gardens here, which are the kitchen garden and the formal garden up front. And we're standing in the kitchen garden, which is at the back of the house. The principle of the Victorian garden is to keep it closed off, especially the kitchen garden. So that's why we have the dogwood hedge and we have the filbert nut bush and the hedge in the back is a Miss Kim lilac. So the kitchen garden is where he experimented and planted things to figure out the hardiness and also planted things that could go in the formal gardens up in front of the house. The patterns of the formal garden up front are curvy and linear paths and garden beds. He had a fruit garden which is now established around the kitchen garden but used to be a huge area up front. So most of the fruits are contained, fruits and nuts are contained in the kitchen garden now. I have loved working here. It's a beautiful space. It's um, nature runs through here, flies through here. Uh, we deal with every issue a gardener could possibly deal with. We are dealing with invasives, which sh showed up in the history of the garden with Justin Morrow. Uh, buckthorn grew fast and they wanted something that would be able to screen the gardens. So that's why it was planted. Master gardeners are involved with just about every aspect that's in the garden that we need to maintain a healthy uh, Victorian garden. We are always looking for more volunteers. We have weekly classes here and we would like to establish some more classes related to gardening for the community and for our master gardeners. We always have camps for kids um, and young adults. One of the focuses this year is about indigenous people and their part in a lot of this. You have to honor the history of the garden and what it has to be, but you have to also honor current gardening practices.